Today marks two weeks since United Auto Workers took to the picket lines demanding better pay and working conditions. Now the union president is threatening to expand the strike against the big three automakers. Natalie Haddad joins us from the newsroom with more on exactly what's coming next. And Natalie, we could get word later this morning of an expansion of the strike. That's absolutely right. And we'll get to just when we could hear that announcement. So later this morning, the United Auto Union uh, says it will announce those plans to expand its strike against those Detroit automakers, the three that you just mentioned, Teresa. The union calls them the big three, GM, Ford, and the Jeep maker, Stellantis. Union workers went on strike this month when a deal could not be made in contract negotiations. And as we've been reporting here on WFAA, some of the strikes are already taking place here in North Texas. In Roanoke, the GM distribution center was called to strike last week. In Carrollton, the Stellantis plant also also was called to the picket lines. Arlington's GM plant has not been asked to strike by the UAW, but have regularly scheduled or held rallies to show their support for the union's demands. Now, the union is seeking a substantial wage increase to make up for much smaller raises over the last decade. The union has demanded other measures, including cost of living adjustments, the right to strike or protest plant closures, and expanded benefits. Now, earlier this week, we saw President Biden meet with striking workers in Michigan. And today, Texas State Senator and U.S. State candidate, Senate candidate Roland Gutierrez says he will be making stops in Roanoke and Carrollton to show his support as well. Now, the UAW president is scheduled to update members in a video streamed live on Facebook later this morning, probably around 9 o'clock is when we've seen it happening before. The big question, will Arlington's GM plant be on that list called a strike? We know union workers there are ready. We're just going to have to wait and see. Mark.